everyone, Jessica here with another layout for Spiegel Mom Scraps. You can save 15% with my code there, Jessica15 in the shop. So I'm working on my travel album today, which is my little travel notebook. Um, it's the Life Crafted album by Citrus Twist Kits. I absolutely love the size. I really enjoy making my own pages for it, but they also sell page protectors as well if that's your jam. So I am creating some more camping layouts today using the Love You Latte Mix by Spiegel Mom. And I am going to use the Here and There collection by Simple Stories. So I've grabbed the smaller paper pad from the collection and I'm just going to pull out this striped pattern paper. I really like it. I'm gonna actually use this border punch on the side to make just some strips for the sides of my uh, spreads here. So I've got this one punched out and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and just trim that down a little bit and lay on the side of my layout. The paper in the striped pattern that I wanted, I wanted the stripes to be horizontal, so it wasn't big enough to go down my whole page. So I am just piecing it together and you're never gonna be able to tell because I'm gonna embellish and things, so I'm not worried about that little seam being there. I'm just lining the stripes up so the pattern just keeps going and you'll never know the difference. So I'm just gonna go ahead and tape this down. My ATG gun did run out during this, so I had to refill it. And then I'm just gonna piece these together. So see, you can't even tell. And then I'm just going to go ahead and trim the excess off. I did overlay it a little bit. I must not have measured perfect whenever I cut it on my cutting um, tool beside me. So I had to trim it a little bit with my scissors. This one, I'm gonna make a little bit skinnier on this side. I wanted my title piece to go on one of these sides. Originally, I was gonna put it on the left side here. That's why I made this one uh, smaller. But then when I grabbed it and started laying it out, I ended up putting it on the right page. So I've got my four photos here. The Love You Latte mix really screamed mud to me. So that's why I've pulled these photos from camping when my boys were just having an absolute blast after a rainstorm when it filled up this giant mud puddle beside our camper. And they were just running back and forth with their toys and uh, trucks and things. And my older son there has his little loader. He was um, hauling around water inside the little uh, bucket on the front of it and my other one was carrying around the dump truck with water in it so they were just having an absolute blast in this and my dog was with us on this trip too and I did not let him play in it because he would have had blast too but in a camper with a wet muddy dog that's not so much fun so at least the kids I can kind of throw them in the tub and change their clothes and it's all good, but it's a little bit harder with a dog that's basically bigger than the tub in our camper is. <laughs> so I'm just using the Here and Now collection to add some layers behind my photos. I'm gonna distress my photos on the edges with my edge distressor just to give them some texture because I'm not matting those photos today. So I wanted to have a little bit of texture on them. I've used the tag to tuck behind my photo on the top and then I'm just using some various embellishments to add in and around my photos as well. I'm actually going to use my hole punch reinforcer to add some circles around my holes in the middle. I had to punch them out manually because um, my hole punch that I have specifically for this, um, the holes are a little bit smaller. So it's smaller than these little reinforcement punches. So I just cut them by hand or punch them by hand. And I just use my Nuvo glue to adhere those little circles. They're all on there now. And then I've got my title piece here that I've decided to put on the right hand side of this page. My sequins are gonna be added at the very end of this video. Um, I like to add my sequins towards the end as kind of my finishing touch. So I add all of my other embellishments first and I do all my stamping and things like that before I add any of my sequins. So I've got my photos here. I'm going to start actually adhering all of this down to my layout and just add a few more embellishments before I add my sequins. My baby girl is coming in here with my um, trash from my trash can. She thinks I really, really need this little dispenser thing from refilling my tape gun. It was in my garbage can beside me and she keeps throwing it back up on my desk and we're kind of fighting over it. But <laughs> she really thinks that I need it. So I just leave it there for a while. But I am just continuing to layer up my photos and placing just little bits and pieces behind it from this collection. I'm using uh, some various packs of ephemera that come with the collection. And I'm just tucking in some tags at the top there. I'm gonna grab a couple more things and add in. 
As you can see, I'm actually cutting a lot of these in half because I'm just tucking them in behind my photos and things. So when I'm doing layering like this, I like to cut them in half because then I can actually get two embellishments out of one and I'm not wasting the whole thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and tuck my title piece down now because I know that it's exactly where I want it to go and I'm not adding anything else around these photos as far as on the right side there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and place that down and I'm gonna work on this left side at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and distress the edges of my photos over here as well and then continue embellishing. So I've got most of this done at this point. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my sequin mix and start on those. I'm gonna use my Nouveau glue and a sequin tool I got from Amazon, which I can link that below if anyone wants to grab that. And it's super easy to use, I love it. The sequins stick right to that tip. It's like a wax tip and they do come with extra ones um, for when you need to swap them out, which is really great. So I just love to use that, super easy and fun. It's a great way to add some sparkle to your layouts. I just kind of scatter them around my uh, layouts and just add a few here and there. And this is the Love You Latte Mix. Again, if you wanna grab this mix or any of them from the shop, you can save 15% with my code Jessica15. I don't get anything from it, so it doesn't you know, benefit me in any way, uh, which is fine, I don't mind at all, but it's uh, great for you because you can save 15%. So I'm just gonna tuck some twine on these last little tags here at the top. I've cut my holes in those and I'm just gonna add this little bits of twine and then that's gonna finish this spread up. 
and I will be able to pop this one into my album. So super, super, super excited to have another layout done for this cute little camping album. So here is the finished result. I hope you guys liked how this turned out and I hope you enjoyed watching this process today. So thank you guys so much for watching and thanks for being here and I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.